that's the reason why it's been so much hesitation up to this point for me to just get straight belligerent and retarded like it could be done. No, we got the weather formations just giving you a promise that one after the other, they're going to stay that way. But we're not really killing people. The, the bus flipping over was a bit much. But that's just to get your attention. You know, you overlooked the opportunity to buy the green light so we all understand that you all think it's a joke, you know, that you're not really feeling us, if you will. But we, um, we're all immortals, which means that the next 20, 30 years that you got left to live, if you have managed to stay alive that long, you're going to die and dissipate. And you even wasted the best opportunity ever available to anyone. Being on, just being on Earth at this time is a big advantage. If you're not so dull that you can see all this stuff right here, and don't be able to make out what it is, I feel that even without having any real arrogance when I say this, I feel like the most wealthiest man on this planet. Even if I don't have any of your paper money or the privileges that you all have on this earth, I already know that I'm an immortal God, which makes me be way ahead of any of all that. I also know that I could think you guys off this planet, and we'll do that too if anyone does not be in compliance with what my job is to do here. The clock starts ticking for you immediately. Even if you don't believe that, it doesn't change the true dynamics of that being a fact. I'm sure it's people on this earth right now that has had encounters with me in the past where things got said and implemented, initiated to make them start meeting their maker. And I'm sure they can see the effects of all that right now and wish that they had not tampered with the messenger of God. And that's what I am. Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. We all know that. Our problems is that we don't believe people at face value to be who they are because we got prefabricated descriptions in our mind of who these people should look like or what they should look like and this is where you're going to have a problem because you didn't find any descriptions anywhere of these light ships but that did not make them not be the fact that you knew of them not did not constitute them not being and does not constitute anything you do not know of not being. You should see all of these spaceships I got flying around in these ethers out here for these people. I get in their ass as soon as I get ready. So we'll hold on a minute. Let's uh, run this back because I'm not through yet. I'll show you some more spaceships. Look at all of them come through there. Watch how many it is. Look at that. Don't think that you're looking at no pollen or anything like that. You're looking at a SARS army. This is what I use to make these weather formations. This is what made those lights that you saw hanging around at that power box. It's those UFOs you see right there. This is Confederation. They're light ships. We have so many of those things. We have a whole planet of nothing but light ships. We are planets of them. What I'm saying is it's a whole constellation of planets that we house these light ships on and launch them from. Wherever we go, we do whatever we want because we are employed by the sons of this universe. The SUNs are our mothers and fathers. We are the sole owners of everything that you could think about because we are the thought materialism that everything induces and conduces itself from. We are the melanin products of all carbon sustained realities of existence of any entity in this planet that is carbon or non-carbon based. But there's nothing that can have an existence that is not carbon or carbon based. And so the fellow the federation is nothing but the the calibrators of all matter. We are the, the people that repair everything in existence. Not only do we repair everything in existence, we create everything in existence. That's where you white people came from. You was created by us. 
whether you believe that or not. So it's easy to recreate your ass if we created you. It's real simple. That's something that you all need to figure out as soon as possible. Okay, now we made this planet. You're going to have to understand who's the true owner of this planet. Failure to understand that is going to cost you dearly. I mean, real dearly. There will be no mistreatment of me on my own planet. That's just the sole truth about it. <clears throat> 